Sometimes the life of a climber is so overwhelming, you just want to quit. But when you've travelled hours and hours and hours in a car to get to a job, and you get faced with your reality, there's no turning back. You can't quit. You're there to do a job. Even if the trees are leaning badly over power lines, you've just got to find a way. Get in there and give it your best shot. Like everything you do in life. This was my reality check on this particular job. Enjoy. Good morning viewers. It's 8 a.m. It's about eight degrees and the boys and myself are just packing everything up. Got all of our saws, bits and pieces. We've fully loaded up because we are heading away up the east coast of Tasmania for around about three days. I believe some of the trees are over 40 meters high. It's always risky traveling long distances to do tree work when you've only seen the photos on email. That's day one. Day two, we've got one of the most difficult removals. Probably actually needed a crane, but anyhow, we're gonna give it our best shot. And then on day three, we're heading back down the coast to a place called Swansea, and we're doing our last tree removal there. That'll be on Thursday. Definitely need to get fuel. <laughs> Just tried four bloody times to get an SRS rope up this tree and we failed. So now it's coming down to the spur and foot line. And she's a big bugger. Look at the size of that. Travel four hours to get here. Here we go. Maybe a long climb to the top. Let's get past this big girth bit here, it'll get a lot easier. Still just climbing. <clears throat> Always got to try and stay calm, stay calm and just keep climbing. What the fuck? Now that's stuck on something. Oh, this is a headache. You wouldn't believe it, my flip line has got caught over such a little stick down here. It's friggin' ridiculous. Just use this to get it off. Now I should be able to keep moving. It would have been so much easier to climb this tree on SRS. If there's one piece of your equipment that isn't up to scratch, it can seriously let the whole works down. Unfortunately, this year, our throw line has been repaired so many times that it was too short to get to the first limb, and it was also full of little knots that would get caught on all this stuff you're looking at here now. It's an absolute pain in the butt to climb these things like this. Get this out of here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Now I can keep moving. Hey Racy, my sonnies, they're going down beside the chainsaw. Yep, right beside the chainsaw, lens fell out of them. Right, that's the first one. Now we'll keep climbing. Actually, I can make my life easy by taking these off. Super spine in here. We're just doing a shitty stuff. Dead, got fungus. Whew. 
No mozzies up here though, that's nice. No mozzies. Take this one here off now. Okay, we're at that crutch. This crutch here is the original crutch that we were trying to get our throw line over so that we could set up SRS. It's about 25 metres up. Let's get a rope on this crutch. Hello. Puppy. Put him on there. Safe as houses. All right. Chill out for a bit. Just uh, set this flip line here on my bridge. Just backed it up on itself here. I'm gonna go up here and set a rope so that I can climb out over here. So that I can remove all this up here. All right, so here we go. Start climbing in. I just might just remove some of this rubbish. Messy up here. It's just a big messy, messy Messington. If you gaff out right at this point here, gaffing out means if you go to put your spike in the tree and it slips and you slip around the tree, you will be hanging upside down by this flip line. And if you get hanging upside down in a tree like this only on your flip line, it is a very serious situation. Side of this room so I can keep moving. There's a big tree work in Tasmania. Starting to get above what point here. Right, as you can see, I'm way above my safety line here. I'm going to set my other rope just here. Just climb up just a little bit more until I get to the end of this length that I've got going on. Okay. I'll set it down there. Oh, that's good. Just back myself in. Happy days. Just going to use MRS here, I think. No big deal. Pretty basic. Going to go straight into MRS. Nice, safe in position. We can now start to relax. I'll just take that off. Don't need it. Hang that on the belt. Back there. Happy days. Okay, time to move back down out of this tree, out of this section. Have to come back here later and take that off. Fair way up, as you can see. So now we're just out here floating around as you can see, out in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna head back over here and get this off. Oh, got my chainsaw off my rope there. Naughty, naughty. Right up there. But as you can see, I'm just hovering around in the canopy of the tree. Now what I can do is I can pull myself over. In this picture right here, you can actually see the bow in the tree, the lean, and it's going straight towards the HV power lines. This is why this tree job was actually really spooky. Pull that suck through. Got rope up there. Up there. 
and uh, head on down. We end up down in this crotch here somewhere. Pull this in. Right. Back into the tree we are. Groovy. Now we've got a good old safety line, we can get to work. Starting to get over the power lines here now. Just got a fair bit further to go, just get up there. This is Scamander, pretty nice place in Tasmania. Got this off now, now I've got to head over here and get this here off without crushing any of that down there. So we're just wiggling our way back down over here. That's where I was before. That's it then, Reesey. We'll go down the road and find our accommodation. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Better than these mosquitoes. Yeah, we're over it. Out here is, look at that mirror there. Out here, mosquito. There's mosquitoes. It's like a tunnel, mosquito tunnel. Yeah, look at that. All straight away. Yeah. There you go. Oh. See? Can't even catch them. They're that fast. They're ninja mozzies. We're up here for three days this week. So, yeah, we have a lot of work to get through. All right, here we go. Day two. We're on this SRS system. We've got rigging out here. We have got to protect this roof. So we have got a hell of a job ahead of us. It goes all the way down here. Down here. Got Reese over here on this rope. Got Kai on a tagline. Okay, first cut. Nice and tight, Reese. Oh, yep. 
nicely done. As I said, it's going to be a long day because we're getting all of this off. Edging of the roof, and we're happy days. No, no, that's yeah, that's better to go that way, much better. Ah, uh, good work, boys. would seriously do some damage. At this point of the job, we really don't want anything to go wrong. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video about needing a crane? How helpful would it have been right now? <laughs> I might just go up a little bit more. I'll go there. Safer. Look at how much rigging we've got going here. Got to tie it off here. Down to an X ring there. Up to an X ring there. Back down to the tree to a quarter up. On the race. Tagline with Kai. How much tension you got on him? I've enough to move the car forward a bit. Have you? Yeah. All right. Um, just back it off one click. Yeah. One more? Yeah, right now go back on that click. In. Yep. Yeah, happy days. Take a look at our other channel, Off Track Films. You'll see a bit more of what we get up to in Tasmania.